We're now at the stage where we want to create a contact if uh, one doesn't already exist or if more than one exists. So we need to create a data wrap to load to do this. Um, however, I'm just here in my Omni script and I did just realize that I'm using just a regular text um, field for email. But um, what I can actually do is go ahead and add in an email one. So we'll just go to our input email and then um, I'm just going to get rid of this one here and then change this to email and uh, we'll make that required too. So that way um, we've, we're actually expecting an email address in the right format. Okay, so now we're going to go up to our data raptors and we're going to create that um, load one. So we'll just click on to new and we'll give it a name. And we'll change it to a load and then just click Save. Okay, so our object will be contact. And then our fields, uh, we've got to provide the input and uh, the object field. So we'll click on new there. And so our input uh, will be our first name. So the first name is coming from step one. So if we come back here uh, and just you can see that the name of this particular node is step one. So if I preview, um, I'll show you what I mean. So we've got step one there and then F first name. So that is what is being expected in that particular um, input path there. But I am eventually going to use integration procedures to do this. And so then I'll send the actual input there. So what I'm gonna do for this one is just say F first name. Um, and then the domain field will be first name. And then we'll add another one for the last name. And then lastly will be our email. Great. So we have now our three um, inputs there. So we've got first name, last name, and email. And then if we go into preview, uh, we need to put in our input over there, um, which I don't have yet. So I'm just actually going to leave this one as is. And um, that was a very, very short video showing you how we just come into the object, which is contact. And the fields that we're looking for are our F email, F first name and F last name. And then what I'm going to do in the next video is put that into an integration procedure where I then send that input. And then we can test it properly with uh, the JSON from that Omniscript.